will now find out the number of terms in this expansion. 2x minus y square, the whole power 21. This is a binomial expansion. We are not going to expand it. We are not going to write the entire expansion to find out what is the number of terms. If it is a, a plus b the whole power n, the number of terms in the expansion will become n plus 1. So in this case, you see that the power is 21 because of which the number of terms here will be equal to 21 plus 1 or it will be equal to 22. We will now consider one more example. A 4x square plus a 9y square, this let us raise it to the power 5. Now the question is to find out what is the number of terms in this expansion. It is not binomial. This is exactly where you have to use your understanding of the concept. This is just a 2x the whole square. This term is a 3y the whole square and you see that this is twice of a 2x into 3y. So what is this actually? A 2x plus 3y the square of it, okay, raised to the power 5. Am I right? This, write it as a perfect square, you get it as a 2x plus 3y, the whole square. So, what is this now as a binomial expansion? It will be 2x plus 3y raised to the power 10. You see here that the power is 10. So, number of terms in this expansion will be equal to a 10 plus 1 or it will be equal to 11. Uh, again, I repeat this concept. Actually, you know the expansion for a binomial. But if you are able to rewrite it as a perfect square and bring it to a binomial form and then identify the number of terms, it is going to be easy for you. Okay. Now, we will see one more question here. We have to prove now that this expression 2 power 4n plus 4 minus 15n minus 16 is divisible by 225 using binomial theorem. We will just see that. You see here that in the power you have a 4 common. If you take it out, 2 power 4 is going to be a 16. 16 power is going to be n plus 1. You have to prove it is divisible by 225, right? 225 is a 15 square. So, I will write this 16 as a 1 plus 15 raised to the power n plus 1. Now, this if you expand using binomial, it is a 1. 1 raised to any power is 1, okay? Plus n plus 1 c1 is just a n plus 1 into 15 power 1 plus n plus 1 c2 into 15 square. First term is 1. Every power is just going to be 1. The second term, the power increases. Second term starts with 15 here, 15 square, 15 cube, it goes on. Last term is going to be a 15 power n plus 1. Now, this 16 power n plus 1 is nothing but your 2 power 4 n plus 4. Expand this, you get a 15 n, 15 plus 1. This is going to be a 16. What I am going to do is from all these terms, the remaining terms, I pull out a 15 square or a 225 out. So, it will be n plus 1 c2 plus n plus 1 c3 into 15 and so on. Here it will be a 15 power n minus 1. That entire expression what I get inside, I will just call it as k. Now, these two terms, if you bring them to the left, okay, what do you get? 15 n minus 16. This is a multiple of 225. So, we conclude that this 2 power 4n plus 4 minus 15n minus 16, this expression is divisible by, it is divisible by 225.